This is one of the poems from The Sentimental Bloke by C.J. Dennis, written in 1915, and it's called The Play, and it's where the sentimental bloke, Bill, takes his cliner, his girlfriend, Doreen, to see Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> What's in a name? She says. And then she sighs and clasps her little hands and rolls her eyes. A rose, she says. Be any other name, it's spelled the same. Oh, wherefore art you, Romeo, young sir? Chuck your old pot and change your moniker. <laughs> Doreen and me, we went to see a show. The swell two dollar touch. Bon tong, you know. A chair apiece with velvet on the seat. A slap up treat. The dramas writ by Shakespeare years ago about a balmy goat called Romeo. Lady, beyond the moon I swear, says he. Then he climbs up on the balcony. And there they smooth your treat with pretty words, like two lovebirds. I nudge Doreen. She whispers, ain't it grand? Her eyes are shining and I squeeze her hand. <laughs> What's in a name, she says. Stroop, I don't know. Billo is just as good as Romeo. She may be Julia or Juliet. He loves her yet. If she's the tart he wants, then she's his queen. Names never count. But I, I like Doreen. <laughs> A sweeter, dearer name I never heard. There's music hangs around that little word, Doreen. What, what was this I started to say about the play? I'm off me beat. <laughs> but when a bloke's in love, his thoughts fly her way like a omen dove. This Romeo, he's lurking with a crew, a dead tough crowd of crooks called Montague. His cliners push what's nicknamed Capulet. They has them set. Fair narcs they are, just like them back street clicks, except they fights with skewers instead of bricks. <laughs> What's in a name? What's in a string of words? They scraps in old Verona with their swords and never gives a bloke a stray dog's chance. And that's romance. But when they deals it out with bricks and boots in Little Lon, they're low-degraded brutes. What's just plain stoush with us right here today is valour, if you're far enough away. <laughs> Someday, some writer bloke will do the trick with Ginger Mick of Spadger's Lane. He'll be a Romeo when he's been dead 500 years or so. <laughs> Fair Juliet, she gives her boy the tip. Says she, don't sling that crowd of mine no lip. And if you run a a Capulet, just do a get. He swears he's, he's done with lashing. He'll chuck it clean. Same as I did when I first met Doreen. They smooch some more at that. Oh, strike me blue. It give me Joes to sit and watch them too. He... He'd break away and try to say goodbye. And then she'd sigh, Oh, Romeo! And get a stranglehold. <laughs> and hang around him like she feared he'd bolt. Gospel Cove about a secret wedding. And they plan it out. He spouts a bit about how he's bewitched. Then they get hitched. <laughs> now, here's the part that fair gives me the pip. She's his for keeps, and yet he lets her slip. Ah, oh, but he makes me sick. A fair gazob. 
He's just the glassy on the soulful sob. He'll sigh and howl and spruik a lovesick vow. A silly cow. <laughs> but when he's got her spliced and on the straight, he cruels the pitch and tries to kid its fate. Ah, fake me foot. Instead of sloping soon as he was married off on his honeymoon, him and his cobber called Mick Curio, <laughs> they, have to, they have to go and mix it with that bunch of Capulets. They look for trouble, and it's what they get. Some tug named Tyball, uh, cousin to the skirt, uh, sprags him and makes a start to sling off dirt. Next minute there's a real old ding-dong go, half round or so. Mick Curio, he gets it in the neck. Ah, rats, he says, and passes in his check. Quite natural, Romeo gets wet as hell. It's me or you, he howls, and with a yell, plunks Tyball through the gizzard with his sword. How I on cord. Put in the boot, I says. Put in the boot. Hush, says Doreen. Shame, says some silly coot. Now, Romeo, he don't know what to do. The cops get busy, like they always do, and nose around until he gets blue funk and does a bunk. They want his tarp to wed some other guy. Oh, strike, she says. I wish that I could die. Now, this here gospel coves a fair shrewd head. Says he, I'll dope you so they'll think you're dead. My tipsy was a cunning sort that knew a thing or two. She takes his knockout drops up in her room. They think she's snuffed and plant her in her tomb. Then things get mixed a bit and starts to whirl. Here's Romeo comes back and finds his girl tucked in her little coffin, cold and stiff. And in a jiff, he swallows Lysol. <laughs> throws a fancy fit, head over turkey, and his soul is flit. <laughs> and Juliet wakes up and sees him there, turns on the waterworks and tears her ear. Dear love, she says, I cannot live alone. And with a groan, she grabs his pocket knife and ends her cares. Hey, nuts or lollies, <laughs> says a boy upstairs.